P-O-V. So you woke up one weekend and it's a little bit too late to make breakfast and a little too early to make lunch. I am sharing this delicious egg and potato dish that is perfect for your brunch menu. Seasoned to perfection, loaded with vegetables, your entire family will love this dish. Let's get into the ingredients. So just like making an omelette, I cut up the vegetables that I love to have my eggs with. Tomatoes, some green bell peppers, and onions. I have some parsley on the side to garnish. So for seasoning, we're using some cayenne pepper for heat and color, some chicken powder, some maggi cubes, and curry powder. And for the remaining two ingredients, which of course are the main ingredients, I'm using 12 large eggs and some shoestring fries. Now I use shoestrings because they're cut up really thin and they will cook faster than the, let's say steak or hand cut potato So fries. as you see me do here, I'm cracking up all 12 eggs and I'm gonna begin to add in all the vegetables and the seasoning. Now there's actually a name for this recipe tortillas patatas i had an auntie who spent years in spain and we we happened to spend a christmas with her and she made us this savory dish it was so good ever since then i made it for myself and when i got married with kids i also made it for my family and they love it so there you go the name for this dish is tortillas patatas from Spain. But of course the recipe has been tweaked to fit my African palate. Now I'm adding cayenne pepper because you know around this house we love some heat and it's actually not that even spicy so you can add pepper powder if you want it spicy and that would be great as well. As always, do a taste test to make sure the seasoning is perfect. And if you need to add any more or make adjustments, you do so before the next step. So the potato fries has been thawing all this while and we're going to go ahead and layer it in the baking pan. It's about a pound of potato fries in that bag but I used about 0.8 pounds. So yeah, you don't have to use the entire bag. I almost used it all up but gauging at the amount of eggs that I had, I thought, which I was right, a 0.8 pound of fries will perfect. Now after the potato fries has been layered perfectly, you're going to go ahead and pour in your egg yeah. mixture onto the fries in the baking pan. Make sure you're pouring carefully so that the base of the baking pan is entirely soaked with the egg mixture. I also added about a cup of whole milk. You can actually skip this step by adding the milk to the egg mixture so you don't have to do it this way. Make sure to preheat your oven at 375 ahead of you actually putting it into the oven. Cover your dish with an aluminum foil and straight to the oven it goes. timer 15 to 18 minutes depending on how hot your oven gets and we're gonna check back on it later but while we wait let's do our happy dance because this dish is about to be so good <laughs> so our 18 minutes it's up I'm gonna take my dish from the top rack take off the foil and place it in the lower rack and let it cook for an additional 10 minutes and voila, our egg and potato dish, or should I call it tortillas, patatas, is all done. Look at how beautiful it looks now. On to our taste test. But first, let's behold its golden glory and beauty. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now the perfect sauce to go with this dish is mayo chup. Homemade ketchup and mayo mixed together, simple. And I also garnished it with some parsley and this is a must try. Trust me, your brunch menu, your family will thank you so much. Now have a blessed day. Until my next video, be blessed. Thank <laughs> you.